My name is Victoria, I'm an MT here at the Technique Center and today I'm joined by Megan and we're going to be talking about kind of like our educational journeys and kind of how we got to where we are today. So just to kind of start off, can you tell me about yourself, your, your major, class and, and uh, what do you want to do career wise? Uh, so my major currently is interdisciplinary studies which I came to from uh, being a psychology major and realizing I didn't want to do anything with psychology really. Yeah. I was really more interested in English and so I ended up combining it by doing interdisciplinary studies and doing psychology, English, and education okay. after realizing that I want to teach. Yeah, yeah, and so you kind of get a little bit of that psychology in there still and mm -hmm. you're in your graduate program now, right? Yeah, first semester. First semester. So are you still taking like undergrad courses at the same time as your graduate courses or is it all graduate? All graduate. Gotcha. And so what's that like? I mean, I'm currently still in my undergraduate, so I don't know too much about graduate programs. So what's it like? Um, it's like the same, but a step up is what I feel like. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was going to be so much harder because everybody says it's going to be like ridiculously hard. Yeah. Um, everyone said I wasn't going to have any friends. They were like, oh, you're no. only going to be working on school. And I was like, okay. Um, but that has not been the case at all. Like it's been really actually a lot more manageable. Just okay. kind of took a minute to kind of get used to it. But then yeah. once I once I got the experience, I was like, okay, I can do this. We're good, we're good. Yeah, it's like adapting to that change of like, okay, there is more going on, but like, yeah. how do I manage that time? Very similar to like the high school to college jump. Yes, yeah, like going from high school to college, it's like, okay, now I'm on my own. Yeah. I don't have people telling me what I need to do, and that's where I think the change was most like yeah. for me, of like, oh, I need to get this done. Nobody's telling me I need to get yeah, this done. Exactly. I have to tell myself that. Yeah. Yeah, it was so weird, it was so weird. but. Um, what made you choose Texas Tech and what were your other considerations when either coming into your undergraduate program but maybe also coming into your graduate program too? Um, I actually, for undergrad, I, I didn't have, I only applied to Tech because uh, my sister was here and I was like a very like anxious kid and I was like, yeah. that's, I'm going there. I was like, I have to have <laughs> someone there to kind of yeah. get me through it and so I ended up here. Mm -hmm. um, and glad for it because I like it here. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah. It was like, uh, I knew nobody coming here and I definitely was very anxious and so I think my first semester here was really hard with kind of like adapting to nobody being here. It's like I have to find a way to make friends. Yeah. Don't know how to do that. Yeah. So do you think like even though your sister was here and that was really helpful, did you think your first semester went as maybe like was it easy finding friends or were you still kind of shy and not like, mm, I'll keep to myself? I was definitely still shy, but not nearly as bad as I anticipated. That's good. I thought I was like gonna just keep to myself and yeah. like attend classes quietly and then go back home and be alone. <laughs> but no, I, I did make friends like actually like one of my best friends today even so. That's so it was good. a great experience. Not my first semester. I was alone. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do any like organizations your first semester and that like helped out with it or kind of how just kind of your classes that helped in making friends? It, I was in organizations, but I, I didn't end up really sticking with them, but I do think it helped for just that yeah. freshman year kind of experience. Definitely, definitely. What was your first year here? Because like my first year here was COVID year, so my experience is differently, like wildly different than most people's. Because yeah. that I think that's what I'm attributing to making like having a hard time making friends was because like yeah. my first year was COVID. Yeah, that would do it. So um, I was my first year here was in 2017. So okay. gotcha. You had a little bit of time. Yeah, I'm jealous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so tell me about a little bit about your educational journey and what do you think you really struggled with along the way? Um, I mean, you talked kind of about how you started off with psychi psychology and then that wasn't like something you wanted. Mm -hmm. So how do you think that all kind of came together to, oh, now I know what I wanted to do? Well, I think I've always really loved English and my mom is an English teacher. And so for some reason in my head, I was like, I'm not going to be an English teacher. <laughs> I was like, I'm not following in my mom's footsteps. No, it can't happen. I was like, I got to be my own person. Yes. And so I think it steered me away from it a little bit. But I do love psychology. I just don't want to do the clinical aspect of it. Yeah. I and gotcha. so I think it really did work out in the end. Mm -hmm. But 
Yeah, I think, and then the Technique Center definitely, like, applying here mm -hmm. changed my life. Like, it, I have so much more confidence after being here. Me too. Insane difference. Like, I remember when I first came here, I thought, like, I cannot do math. I cannot, like, even, not even close. Like, I thought, like, if I'm ever in a career where there's any math involved, like, I'm not going to make it out. Yeah. Um, and now I tutor it and I'm like, what happened? Like, and that's like my favorite subject to tutor now. I love math. That's my favorite one to tutor too. It's so funny because at first you mentioned, like at the beginning you said that your mom's an English teacher and you're like, I never want to become an English teacher. Love my mom to death. <laughs> she is also a teacher. And based on her experiences, I was like, no, I never want to become a teacher. But as I'm here at college, at the TC, I'm like, hmm. I'm seeing now why all those career tests yep. said I should be a teacher. Yep. <laughs> and it's so crazy because like at the end of the day, I still don't necessarily want to be a teacher, at least for like elementary and junior high, but like being a teacher for high school is becoming more of like, mm, maybe, yeah. maybe, like yeah. it's enjoyable. Um, just because at the TC, like we see all those light bulb moments, those rewarding moments, and that's yeah. like what makes my day 10 times better. Or like having students who actually want to be there, it just makes everything better. And I think that was like the one thing that with being a teacher or becoming a teacher that made me kind of like standoffish was like, people have to go to high school. They don't necessarily want to be there. And so it makes it harder yeah. to teach people who don't want to be there. Yeah. But then you could just do specialization class and then everybody wants to be there. Yeah. So it just makes it better. So it's like kind of like weighing the pros and cons. So I'm literally like, and then also you mentioned like with the TC, um, I was also really shy before coming here or like maybe not confident in tutoring some things. And now what? This is, hold on, I'm counting my semesters in my head. <laughs> uh, this is my fourth semester here. And I'm just like, whoa. I'm way more outgoing, yeah. way more confident, way more friendly. Like, like with my friends, it was always really easy. Mm -hmm. But then, like with strangers, you're just like, this is weird. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they're literally like at the at the beginning of when you first get hired, they always the the people or at the TC always talk about like, you're gonna notice such a big difference in yourself. You're gonna be more confident, more outgoing, more this, more that. And I remember sitting in tutor training in January 2020 when we were in person still, thinking. Shh, Y'all are kidding. Yeah. I already know I'm not going to be outgoing. That's just who I am. And now I'm sitting here like... Totally get that. I'm so outgoing. You're like, they're just saying that because they have to. <laughs> and that's like, not yes. true. Yes. And it's like, no. They actually... They meant it. They meant it. Like, you... It's so crazy to see the changes that have happened. Yeah. But I wouldn't... I would not trade it for the world. Like, before working here, I worked at a retail store in Lubbock. And, like... I mean, I would. I thought I enjoyed retail. I do like enjoy it as like not like a full time job, but like I enjoyed going there and seeing like my friends and like working and everything. But then I come here, I'm like, this is so much better. This is like ten times better yeah. than working in retail. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Because it's like you said, those like light bulb moments yeah. are so nice. Like they like, there's just something that I don't know. It's so like I rely on that just for happiness. Like sometimes yes. I feel like it's it's so good to see and I think as somebody who like had um, a learning disorder in high school and in middle school like I had people like and they were seldom but like I had like maybe two teachers who did that for me mm -hmm. and like those teachers made all the difference they're they're the reason I think I stuck with education like yeah. as a career choice because like I wanted to be that person for someone because no yeah you need that that yeah there is like a lot of Nowadays, not necessarily as much support in the educational system, which makes it, or at least for junior high and high school, for like the understanding portion. So I really mm -hmm. agree with that. It's like you find that one good teacher that you look up to, and you're like, we need more people like yes, you. Yes, exactly. Yes, yeah, I totally get that. Um, you kind of mentioned like your favorite moments, or you really enjoy like the light bulb moments and the aha moments. But is that what's your favorite part about working in the TC? Favorite part. I think it's just getting to interact with so many different people and yeah. like kind of learning those different relationships because when I first came here <laughs> I remember like the first bit of advice that like Brighton one of the counselors had for me was mm -hmm. like like you need to just like get that confidence like it's okay yes. to come talk to your counselors it's okay to like just say hi or just pop in and I was like what? Like, what am I going to say? What, how, how do I talk <laughs> yeah. to you? Like, what do I talk to you about? No, literally, Jeremy gave me the same advice. I was on his team the first semester, and I think it was... 
I mean, with my meetings, like student check-ins with my meetings with him throughout the semester, but also my final evaluation, he was just like, have confidence in yourself. Like, you're doing an amazing job. Yeah. Just be confident. And I'm like, I can try. Yeah. <laughs> I can do my best. But, like, now seeing, like, looking back at where I started, I was in an interview in Tuesday on Tuesday, and she asked me, she's like, okay, like, so looking back at that job from where you first started and, like, where you are at now, and knowing your experiences, what would you change? And I was like, dang, that's a loaded question. <laughs> that is a loaded question. But I was just like, I would honestly give it a whole lot more effort. Like I was yeah. putting effort in, but like I would have done more prep time realizing now like how enjoyable and fun it is to create those prep times. I would have talked with the counselors more. I would have been more involved than like how mm -hmm. involved I am now. And I was like, that's the changes I would make because like it really does make such a big difference. But I was like, that, well, that was a loaded question. I was like, how, hold on, let me think about this answer. <laughs> it really came out of the blue. But um, what do you think were some key skills that got you to where you are today? I think probably interpersonal communication mm -hmm. was the most key. I think I've learned that like collaborating with others, whether it be students, counselors, professors, like that's really what helps me to get like my most creative ideas and like where I find my drive and I think that's been the most helpful thing I could possibly go to. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's kind of all the questions I had like written down, but if you could get, if, like what's your number one advice to people in the TC or in college, you know, having experienced what you've experienced? I think it would be to trust yourself trust your instincts mm -hmm. because that was kind of a major thing for me learning to do that still sometimes struggle yeah, with that yeah yes um like just knowing that you've ended up where you belong and like yes. if that's not where you're happy you're you're gonna be okay if you're trying to change that or get out of that mm -hmm. place like just that you're making good choices it's okay yeah. to like feel that way and to like stick with them and mm -hmm. not doubt what you've done and how far you've come. Yeah, and along with that, I mean, with trusting yourself, one thing with that is a lot of people, especially here in college, are afraid to fail. Mm -hmm. and, and one thing I like to say and that stuck with me since my sixth grade world history teacher told us, um, she was like, the best way to learn is through failure. And I stick mm -hmm. by that because a lot of people are so scared to fail that they don't even try. Yeah. Like, try to learn the material, try the practice problems, try to go to class. Like, they're so afraid of failure that they just don't try, period. But I was watching a TikTok the other day, <laughs> and she was like, our professor told me, like, yeah, you're supposed to brush your teeth for two minutes a day, but sometimes you just don't have that energy. So brushing your teeth for 30 seconds is better than not brushing your teeth at all. Yeah. And so trying, like even though you may not do the best, is like really weird like that was like I was like whoa yeah <laughs> enlightening I needed that I honestly because I've been getting so exhausted this semester yeah. with things like going back in person fully for me because like last semester I still had a little bit in person a little bit online um and so now everything's in person like all of work's in person all my classes are in person and so I've been getting kind of burnt out yeah with like ugh. I understand. <laughs> like even if you manage your time, I'm like, Ugh, I need a nap today. But like at the end of the day, it's like the effort that matters and trusting yourself. Like I can do this, even though if I'm not doing it the best, I'm learning. Yeah. Yeah. I exactly. agree with you. I 100% agree with you. Any cat? Oh, I can't speak. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So so thank you so much for joining me today to talk about kind of like our journeys here at college. Um, it's going to be on everywhere. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for listening and tuning in today. Toodaloo. <laughs> Toodaloo. Toodaloo.